I re-entered the dating market a couple of years ago, and in the intervening time where I'd been out of the market, two pretty dramatic things had happened. One was the, inter the rise of the internet. So when I went back to the dating world, it was completely different than it had been before. And the second thing was I'd become an economist. And so the combination of those two things, as I began to go into the online dating world, I couldn't help but think of it as a market. It is a market. It's one of the most interesting markets out there, and there's just so much economics going on there. So the idea behind signaling is we have to find a way where when I say to you, I really want to go on a date with you, you believe me without thinking that I've said this to 100 other people. And so in, there are a lot of mechanisms in real life where we figured out ways to do that. In college applications, we have early decision and early action programs where you signal to the college, you're my favorite choice. And the way I've proven that to you is I'm only allowed to say it to one college. Well, the dating market would be one thing that might enhance the dating market and the job market. I think this would be a very good thing for monster.com and the like, is to have people be able to send one or two messages a month that say, I really want to date you and this is my only I really want to date you message I'm allowed to send this month. I like to believe a good understanding of economics can help you a lot in many different contexts. It can make you a better business person. That's what I do every day, trying to teach MBAs about economics to make them more efficient. And I think understanding economics can help you in the online dating market because it tells you what types of markets to think about, how to present yourself a little bit. But I, I would not argue that economics is the only thing that's going to make you successful.